Uh, today we'll be checking out the uh, WooCommerce payment method restriction plugin and uh, we'll be checking the workflow of the same at the uh, storefront and the rest of the configuration settings for the same. So uh, there are times when we need to restrict some of the uh, payment methods so as to provide a seamless and easy checkout process to the customers. Now this plugin uh, comes in handy and this allows the uh, web store admin to restrict payment methods uh, which the admin does not want to use for particular cart rules, products and categories. So the admin just needs to select specific allowed payment methods for cart rules, products and categories from the already available payment methods in the website and only the allowed payment methods would then be displayed at the storefront to the customer so that they can make a uh, check out thereafter. So basically the admin can restrict the uh, payment methods according to the uh, products. He can uh, apply the uh, uh, what we say as the payment methods uh, that can be used for the products for the categories and he can also set up the cart rules as well uh, for the price. So if a product uh, belongs within a certain uh, uh, limit from 100 to uh, 500 for example then the allowed payment methods for that particular card rule uh, would apply and the allowed ones allowed payment methods would be visible to the customer so right now you can see that i'm at the uh, woocommerce uh, web store and i'm on the checkout page i've added one uh, product that's the happy ninja and here uh, the customer can see uh, the available payment methods uh, for making the payment for this particular order having this particular uh, product and accordingly those are uh, methods are visible here to the customer and the customer can choose any one of them uh, and can proceed further to place the order very easily now uh, before proceeding further and showing you the complete workflow of the same and the rest of the uh, configuration there for the payment restriction plugin for the uh, woocommerce platform based web source please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this video uh, good to go then please do give it a thumbs up so uh, the customer just comes, he adds the products into the cart and thereafter he can make a checkout uh, very easily. So after the customer has added the, uh, has added the products into the cart, uh, it can also be multiple products for multiple sellers there. And uh, basically uh, there can be multiple uh, products uh, of the admin there. And uh, thereafter uh, the, uh, uh, the payment methods that have been enabled uh, depending upon whether it has been set as manual or uh, depending upon the cart rules. Uh, wherein we can uh, set the payment methods for the product as well as for the category so uh, whichever is true according to that the uh, payment methods are visible to the customer and the customer can check that up and can then place the order at the storefront very easily and the same uh, one uh, or the same payment method is then visible to the customers as well under the my order history so you can see that we have made uh, the uh, payment uh, using the cash and delivery method for uh, the happy and job product and uh, that's how the admin can provide a seamless experience to the customers by providing uh, the only payment methods that would uh, be applicable for that particular order now uh, let's hop onto the admin backend panel let's see how uh, we can initially configure this uh, plugin and how we can uh, uh, restrict the payment methods from the backend for the product uh, categories and uh, uh, how we can do it manually as well and the cart rules so for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now so here I'm at the admin backend panel for my WooCommerce platform based web store. I've logged into my account. Now after the successful installation of this particular plugin, the admin will be able to find the payment restriction option on the side panel. And under that, the admin can see the cart rules and the configuration. So we'll just open them up in two different windows and we'll be going through each one by one. So first of all, let's go to the configuration panel to check the initial configurations for the same. So. Uh, under the configuration here, you can see that uh, we have the option to enable or disable this uh, uh, functionality for the payment restriction within our WooCommerce store. And to do so, you just need to uh, check this particular option here to enable this functionality. To disable it, just uncheck the same. So we'll just check it up. And then we have the restriction type. Now, the restriction type can be set up as manual or depending upon the cart rules. So if I've chosen it as manual, then we can manually set up the uh, a restriction uh, of the payment uh, methods that are, that would be uh, available for the products and the categories there and if we go for the cart rules we can set up uh, the uh, cart rules that would be effective there so if uh, 
uh, rules are enabled for example and then only the cart rules uh, will be effective else per product per category will be effective uh, will be effective and uh, that would be based on the priority there so uh, if I have chose, uh, chosen the restriction method for example as manual here uh, if I've chosen the manual here under the configuration uh, then uh, the payment methods would be displayed at the front end uh, those are allowed for the products and the categories and the cart rules uh, will not apply if we have chosen the restriction type as manual and uh, if I choose the cart rules here for the restriction type uh, then only the cart rules would be applicable there and uh, now uh, let me show you how we can create the uh, cart rules uh, so after we have set this up we can uh, just uh, uh, enable it or we can set up the restriction type as uh, cart rules or manual and uh, then just tap here on the save uh, changes button to save your initial configuration for the plugin now let's hop on to the uh, cart rules now here you can find a complete list of cart rules that you've already created and uh, if this is the first time then this particular section would be empty so here you can see that we have uh, created cart rules of cart total from 10 to 90 dollars then the allowed payment methods would uh, be cash and delivery if the uh, card total is 501 to 1500 then the uh, direct bank transfer check payments paypal and the paypal checkout would be available similarly from 100 to 500 cash and delivery paypal and the paypal checkout would be available uh, for that for the card uh, total there while we have set the uh, restriction type as cart rules so in the case of cart rules only the cart rules apply in the case of manual the product and the category uh, uh, payment methods enabled uh, would be visible to the customers there so if I go back here to add a new rule just tap here on the add new uh, rules button and then you can set up the cart total from and the cart total to method for example if I enter here it as if the cart total is starting from 2000 till 8000 then what uh, different payment methods should be available to the uh, uh, customers say so we can restrict the uh, payment method so i'll choose paypal and uh, paypal checkout if the car total is uh, between 2000 and 8000 so whenever a car total is between this uh, particular uh, limit and uh, then these payment methods would just be available to the customers to complete their order using the paypal and the paypal checkout only Thereafter, uh, you'll just have to tap here in the save button after entering your uh, uh, card total from and to values. And after that, if I go back to the card rules uh, listing, here you can see that uh, here we have the card total from 2000 till 8000. Then the allowed payment methods would be PayPal, PayPal checkout, and cash and delivery itself. So that was how we can set up the uh, card rules. Also, kindly note that this particular uh, plugin does not create any uh, new payment methods. All of the default payment methods or the payment methods within your uh, WooCommerce store that are there, only those can be restricted. All right. And uh, now, uh, now let's see how we can restrict the payment methods for the products and the category. So first of all, let's see how we can set the allowed payment methods for product. Now it would uh, only be uh, applicable when uh, under the configuration we have chosen it as manual. All right, so now let's hop on to see how we can do it uh, for the product. So I'll just go to the all product section. So basically the admin can select the allowed payment methods for uh, a product and then on then the customer can place an order only through those uh, payment methods that have been enabled for a uh, particular product. Okay, so uh, let me go here. Uh, for example, here you can see that I have one product and if I edit the product and uh, if I scroll down a bit, on the left hand side here we have the payment methods now here we have the allowed payment methods so from here you can choose the payment methods that you want to enable for a particular product so whenever a customer it's the happy ninja 77 into his card and tries to make a checkout at that time under the payment methods at the storefront uh, the customer would only be able to see the cash and delivery and the paypal checkout so if I remove this one and if I keep only the PayPal checkout, then the customer would just be able to see the PayPal checkout at the time of uh, checkout there. So from here, the admin can set up uh, manually the allowed payment methods for a particular product. Okay, so we can add a single or multiple uh, payment methods for a product as well from here. Now, uh, the admin can uh, do this to an already created product or to a new product as well. 
So for example, if I go here and I go to the all products, we can do this to any of the uh, any of the already created products as I've already shown you and to a new one as well. So I'll just tap here on the add new button. For the new product, I'll just scroll down uh, and then go to the uh, payment methods section. And from here, we can set out the allowed payment methods uh, for the product that we're just going to create. So that's how we can restrict the payment methods for that particular uh, uh, product itself. And uh, now uh, let's see how we can uh, set up the allowed payment methods for the category. So for that, I'll just go to the category section. So uh, here you can see that uh, from on the left hand side under the product categories here, we can uh, add a new category by entering the details like name, slug, uh, description, and we can also add uh, the display uh, type and we can upload one image as well then tap here on the add new category so before that you can see the allowed payment methods here so from here you can choose the allowed payment methods uh, uh, for the uh, category that you're going to create for a new category as well and whenever a customer chooses any products from this particular category and makes a checkout then at that time only the allowed payment methods that you've selected here would be visible to the customers at the storefront to place their orders now this can also be done or the payment restrictions can also be uh, set up for uh, the one for, for the categories that we've already created so as you can see here we have the clothing and it has the payment methods as uh, check payments cash and delivery and paypal so uh, to do so you'll just tap here in the ed edit link under the particular category and here you'll just scroll down to the allowed payment methods from here you can add or you can remove the already assigned uh, ones and uh, whenever the customer uh, purchases any product from this particular category then what happens is that then the allowed payment method for this uh, particular category is only uh, uh, shown to the customers at the time of making the payment there so that's how you can restrict the payment methods and uh, uh, you, uh, and save the time as well to the customers now uh, after this now one more thing uh, about the categories is that uh, while we have set up the configuration the uh, the restriction type as manual restriction type then the payment method restriction that has been made on the product has a higher priority than the category so first check the restriction on the uh, product if the product does not have any restriction uh, then uh, the check is done on the uh, products category okay so uh, the product uh, uh, what we say as the payment uh, method restriction has always the higher priority than the category so the product uh, uh, product payment method restriction would be first checked by the uh, system and then uh, the category if uh, the product uh, payment method restriction is not there then uh, the category would be checked and then according to that the payment method would be displayed to the customers at the checkout time okay and one more thing is there that if the product does not have any payment method restriction at all uh, then all of the active payment methods uh, that are there within your store would be displayed at the checkout time to the customers to select the payment method and to make the payment for their particular orders now let's take a few variations there and uh, for that uh, the first variation is for example if the admin has selected the restriction type as the cart rules or the uh, module configuration settings uh, then only the cart rules uh, would uh, be working so uh, for example if you created a cart rule uh, and the cart uh, total is between the 201 to 400 dollars and the allowed payment methods have been set as cash on delivery and the paypal then uh, the customers can see the same here as you can see cash on delivery and paypal when the uh, subtotal is between 201 and uh, 400 all right so only those would be visible so uh, uh, here if the card total does not fall under any of the card rule range then it will work as a normal checkout process and all of the available payment methods would then be displayed at the checkout now let's see the allowed payment methods uh, for uh, product so uh, when the restriction type has been set as manual under the configuration settings then the payment methods would be displayed uh, those are allowed for the products and categories so uh, for example if we have uh, selected the uh, check payment and paypal uh, payment methods for a product like the blue shirt at the admin's end then the check payments and paypal uh, uh, payment methods would just be available uh, for use to the uh, customer 
So this is in the case of uh, allowed payment methods for uh, product. And uh, for example, if one of the product is having uh, the payment method restriction and the another one does not have any restriction, then only the common payment methods would be displayed at the checkout time to the customers. Now comes the allowed payment methods for the category. So for example, if we have selected the check payment and the cash on delivery payment methods for the summer shirt, uh, uh, that is under the category, then uh, these particular two uh, uh, payment methods, check and payment, uh, check payment and the cash on delivery uh, would be visible to the customers at the uh, time of making the payment. So here you can see that here we have the check payments and cash on delivery for our, our white shirt product that is under the category uh, summer shirt so uh, we had set this uh, uh, these two payment methods for the uh, category summer shirt so according to that uh, the uh, product is having the check payments and the cash on delivery itself now for example if the product belongs to two different categories and uh, both of the categories are having the payment method restriction then only the common method uh, between them would be displayed at the checkout time and uh, for example if the product belongs to a parent and a child category and both the categories are having payment method restrictions then at that time also only the common methods would be displayed at the checkout time and this uh, is for uh, are two products that are uh, within the cart itself uh, that are uh, belonging to two different categories and uh, one uh, other and the other, other one is belonged to belonging to a parent and a child category there now there are also some different cases for the restrict payment methods for example two or more than two products are having some different and common payment methods uh, for example so here you can see that we have two products with uh, and here we have uh, the uh, what we say is the bank transfer and the cash and delivery and here we have the check payments and the cash and delivery now uh, if uh, the cart is having uh, two products and both are having some different and some common payment methods then only the common payment methods would be displayed at the checkout page uh, to the customer so you can see that we have the t-shirt and the v neck t-shirt and we only have the cash on delivery visible to the customers uh, because only the cash on delivery is the common between uh, both of the two products there now similarly for example if we are having two or more than two products having different categories and uh, categories are having some different uh, and common payment methods so if the card is having two or two products from two different categories and the categories are having some common and some different payment methods so you can see that we have the accessories having check payments and PayPal and here we have the summer shirt it is also having the check payments and the PayPal now only the common payment method would then be displayed at the checkout time so uh, that would be check payments in the case if the card is having two products from two different categories and both of the categories are having some common and different payment methods then only now you can see that the check payment that was common between the sunglasses and the white shirt uh, check payments is visible to the customers here uh, for making the uh, for placing the orders there now uh, it can also happen that two or more than two products are having different but no common payment methods all right so we have two products for example both uh, one is having direct bank transfer and check payments one is having cash and delivery and uh, paypal now in this case we have two uh, uh, products or more than two products that are having uh, different uh, but no common payment method then uh, it will not display uh, any payment method to the customer at the time of checkout so for example we have the hoodie with logo and the hoodie with pocket both of the uh, products are there within the cart but uh, uh, both of them are not having any common uh, uh, what we say as the payment method so uh, uh, a note would be uh, shown to the customer that sorry it seems that there are no available payment methods for your state and uh, please contact us if you require assistance or wish to make any alternate arrangements now uh, one more uh, point can they, uh, there can be one more point like two or more than two products are there from uh, different categories and the categories are having different but no common payment methods we showed you initially with the common now this is no, having no common payment methods so we have the accessories and the summer shirt we have the direct bank transfer and the paypal for accessories and here we have the check payments and cash on delivery for the uh, uh, for the summer shirt uh, category there 
so uh, same is the same is here as well if uh, two products are there from two different categories and uh, those two categories are having uh, different uh, payment methods but no common one then in that case as well a note would be shown that no payment method is available for the same and uh, lastly here you can see that uh, for example if there are two products in the cart one is having the payment method restriction on product and the another one is having on the category and both are having some different and common payment methods so in this case for example if there are two products in the cart one is having the payment method restriction for the product and the other one is having it for the category and uh, both are having some different and some common payment methods so here you can see that the payment method for this uh, product is uh, check payments cash on delivery and paypal and we have the uh, other product uh, that is uh, having the uh, restriction on the category uh, and it has the bank transfer and the paypal so uh, here we have paypal as common then only the common payment method would be displayed at the checkout to the customer so only the paypal would be visible for the sunglasses and the hoodie as you can see here and then uh, the customer can choose uh, that one and can proceed uh, to make the uh, payment for the same uh now if uh, what if uh, two products are in the cart having uh, the payment method restriction on product and another on the category just like the uh, one that we checked before uh, but both are having different but no common payment methods all right so here you can see that we have the check-in payments for the product uh, hoodie with pocket we have the accessories uh, uh, category uh, for the product, other product and the payment methods for that are direct payment transfer and the paypal so here we have the check payments and the cash on delivery so there are no co common ones so therefore no payment method would be displayed to the customer as you can see here all right so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself uh, that's the uh, woocommerce payment restriction plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries or suggestions and kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at uh, webcool.uvdesk.com or you can also reach out to us uh, via www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and if you find this particular video helpful do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead